As you guys know, the Sonic the Hedgehog movie has been a really big deal back in 2019 and early this year. With the new trailer and the new redesign, the Sonic movie has made over $300 million worldwide, which definitely means we're gonna get a sequel in the following years, probably two or three years from now. And the question everyone's wondering, how will it go down? Well, today I'm gonna be telling you guys how I think the movie will be going down. As in the script, as in the story, and everything around it. So stay tuned, cause some of my theories might actually shock you. Let's talk. Good morning or good afternoon from everyone around the world and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here on the channel, consider subscribing to join the Ring Army and to get a chili dog from me and Sonic himself. It'll only take a Sonic second, so I really appreciate it. So as you guys know, Tails is in the post credit scene entering Earth for the first time and he's with his mini Miles Electric locating Sonic. If these readings are accurate, he's here. I found him. I just hope I'm not too late. Then he flies off looking for Sonic. Now. This is where people get curious. Has Sonic knew Tails ever since they were babies and they were never shown in the movie? Or is this Sonic's first time meeting Tails? Here's what I think. Since Sonic the Hedgehog 2 was released on 1992, one year after Sonic 1, my theory is that Tails has been looking for Sonic for a year. Or he just got his coordinates after a whole year after the movie. So Sonic has never met Tails ever and Tails has been searching for his future best friend for quite some time. Now, hear my theory about Longclaw being alive. In some deleted scenes of the Sonic movie, one scene in particular shows Longclaw escaping with Sonic to Earth alive, but she dies of old age later. But what if in the final cut, Longclaw survived the attack of the Echidna tribe and hid for a while until she died of old age in Sonic's world, but she was met with Tails before her passing. A owl's lifespan is 4 years, but she's a mythical creature so I'm not sure if it counts. Anyways, she meets Tails and I don't think she raised him though, and she wishes for Tails to go look for Sonic on Earth and Tails is on his way. Now the way Tails meets Tom and Sonic should be creative, and I have an idea Paramount, HIRE ME! I'm just kidding. So the way Tails should meet the gang is by following Sonic's steps. You know how Sonic went to Tom's garage and was tranquilized? Tails should do the same thing and have the same scenario happen to him. Tom catches Tails and shoots him, knocking him out. Tails wakes up in a cage and meets the whole gang, Sonic, Tom, and Maddie. Tails explains how a mysterious bald man, Dr. Jim Robotnik, took over Sonic's world and Sonic needs to go back and help. Sonic agrees to go back and tells Tom and Maddie it's best for them to stay on Earth. Then Sonic and Tails goes back into their home planet. Then noticing that most of the animals are gone and Dr. Robotnik is seen with them using them for Batniks. This is where the whole movie is taking place on Sonic's world. No longer Earth. The Echidna tribe might be working with Dr. Robotnik or they just don't care about his plan, but Knuckles is hired by Robotnik to take care of Sonic. While Knuckles is distracted by his job, Robotnik steals the Master Emerald. He learns about the Chaos Emeralds by a way that we don't know yet. He uses the Master Emerald to gain unstoppable power to take over Sonic's planet. Sonic reveals to Knuckles that he's been tricked and Knuckles joins forces with Sonic and Tails. Tails takes Sonic back to his old home where him and Longclaw lived. Longclaw is dying on her deathbed. Sonic gets emotional and stays with Longclaw to comfort her before she passes. Longclaw reveals that she has two of the Chaos Emeralds and Sonic and his team needs to go find the rest of them around his planet. A montage of them trying to find the Emeralds visiting different places at a short time, only finding two more. They now have four emeralds and Robotnik has the missing three. Dr. Robotnik finds out that Sonic is on the same planet that he's on so he puts his plan into action fast. They all come face to face in the middle of Green Hill Zone, Robotnik releases Badniks and fights off Sonic and his team. Robotnik stores the Master Emerald for safekeeping, Knuckles fights Robotnik for his emerald back, the Echidna tribe comes and tries to take Sonic away but Tails comes and helps him. Sonic is too quick for the tribe and the tribe storms away due to all the chaos and explosions and putting them in danger. Finally, all the Batniks were destroyed and all the missing animals emerged from the robots. Sonic and Robotnik had a stare off, Sonic spin dashes on his ship just like in the first movie, Robotnik captures him mid jump with his ship's arm just like in Sonic Unleashed. Sonic calls Tails and Knuckles to go for the Chaos Emeralds that Robotnik had, he knocks out Tails and Knuckles swoop the emeralds out of nowhere, he holds onto them, Tails quickly woke up and opened his backpack with the 4 emeralds they had. They combined them all together and they went around Sonic. Sonic closes his eyes and becomes Super Sonic. Sonic defeats Robotnik for the second time, Tails and Knuckles taking cover the whole time. Robotnik retreats and that's the end of Super Sonic. Sonic and his friends go back to Earth and Sonic tells Tom and Maddie that he's planning to stay on his planet. 
Tom understands and they say their goodbyes. Tails opens a portal back to a planet Mobius, Sonic waves and flosses, I'm just kidding. Then they went on back to Sonic's world. That's where Sonic meets some more friends and lived his fun adventure life in his permanent home. But Dr. Robotnik is not done yet, with his future project coming soon, Metal Sonic or Shadow the Hedgehog. The end. Whew, that took a while to make. Anyways guys, that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new here to join the Ring Army. My name is Nice, and I'll see you guys next time. I see it, I see it, and now it's all within my reach in this possibility. I see.